Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. So I have a couple quick tips when dealing with alpha channels in Octane and maybe that white fringe that you're gonna get. So let's say that we have a cutout and we want to add the alpha channel. We're gonna do that in the opacity section. So what you might do is go to opacity and load up that exact same texture and hope that works. And you're gonna get some strange results. And also if you go into the texture, you're not gonna have the, um, the different options that you want. So instead of just loading it right into this slot, what you're gonna to wanna to do is load it into an image texture. So if we go to our node editor, you'll notice that we actually have an image texture going into our diffuse. So what we could do is actually just drag this texture, hover over the opacity, and then drag it on top of this uh, bar right here and let go, and it's gonna put it into there. But now what we have, if we look at our note editor, is we have a new image texture. And what that means is if we click on it, we have different options, and these are gonna be a lot more helpful. So the first thing we're gonna do is change the type from normal to alpha, and we're gonna get a lot closer. Um, but we have this pesky little white fringe on here. And what I've noticed is that if you play with the gamma, you can get rid of it. So if we drop the gamma, you're gonna to start to see more of that white fringe. And then if we kick it up, it's gonna start eliminating that white fringe. So if you're having that white fringe, just play around with your gamma and you should be able to cut that off and get rid of that nasty pixel fringe. So that's a couple little tips when dealing with the opacity and the texture in there. I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. I'll talk to you next time. Ciao.